From Hebrews chapter 7 through 13, it's quite dense. It comes across kind of legalistically and like all of these kind of citations of Old Testament practices, right? So the kind of broader context for this is, as you know, in the early church, it began as a community of Jewish people who were following a popular rabbi, Jesus. Um, as the church expanded, it became a kind of mixed Jewish Gentile community. And here we have a sermon um, to people who were Jewish who were kind of experiencing a lot of persecution. And the person writing the sermon is really concerned that they will just kind of go back to their kind of original tradition. So we see here the, the sermon trying to kind of carefully argue based on the scriptures, um, like the Old Testament, the prophets, the Torah, the various writings, using those scriptures to kind of make the case for why Christ was not just a flash in the pan. Uh, this sermon kind of makes this a very complicated, thorough argument for why Jesus was prophesied in the Old Testament, why the um, symbols in the Old Testament uh, are relevant to who Jesus is, why he's a kind of fulfillment of and indeed uh, replacement for that old covenant. <laughs> 